Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Yes, it is. One day I'll be able to say that without the jingle, but today is not the day because I did a jingle with it. All right, it has been way too long. I've missed the holy heckin' bob out of you. If you are not following me on Instagram, please go follow your girl on Instagram. I'm super active on my stories over there, on my feed. I've been in a little bit of a dry spell with the YouTube videos, but you guys gave me tons of suggestions recently over on Instagram of what you want to see. So I will do better. Thank you for being patient with me. Over the last two weeks, I've been very outspoken about the Black Lives Matter movement. I really want to continue amplifying that movement. So I have decided that all AdSense from this video will be donated to some sort of Black Lives Matter movement. A lot of you guys saw that Alive, which is my app that I started in January. We did just donate to NAACP Legal Defense Fund. I definitely want to donate the AdSense from this video to a different foundation. So if you have any foundations that you super love, that you're very passionate about, that need donations right now, please leave them in the comments below. I will also leave tons of resources for you guys. I have learned so much over the last couple of weeks. My eyes, my ears, they've been opened. The ears thing is weird, but <laughs> they're already open. So I will definitely leave some resources down below for you. I love you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being on the right side of history. So many of you have been so outspoken. You've posted, you've educated yourself, and we gotta keep this alive. So alive. So without further ado, let's jump in to all the things I'm loving right now. The last favorites video that I filmed was two to three months ago when quarantine had just started. Those were like my quarantine phase and I feel like we're finally, we're moving into summer, baby. It's so freaking hot, okay? It's a hot tamale out there. So I got loads of things that I've been obsessed with. So without further ado, let's jump in to this video. All right, I really want to start with, um, something that has changed my life. I am a full blown convert to press on nails. Oh, uh, you I never I never saw this day coming. You know, press on nails when I was like in middle school, those were the hot commodity. I would beg, beg my mom, please, mom, can I have these press on nails? And most of the time she said, "No, Whitney." you little crazy girl, okay? And then sometimes you'd be like, sure. And then I would get them and they'd last three days. Well, my friends, press on nails have come a long way, baby. Listen, I loved my gel nails, okay? I put them in my quarantine favorites. I was having so much fun doing my nails. I even did my friend Katie's nails. They looked terrible, but I tried. That's how excited I was about them. I've never had nice nails. So, you know, after a month or two of gel nails, I was like, oh my gosh, like, are my nails ever gonna grow? No, they're not, Winnie. They're never gonna grow. So. Press on nails. That's where it's at. I tried a few brands and this has ended up being my favorite. These are static nails. They are always sold out. I look at the website every single freaking day. They'll bring like two colors back and then the next day they'll have another color or they'll do a pre-order and then you gotta wait a month for them. I noticed that they just launched a bunch of their like summer colors. So hopefully when this video goes up, there's still some colors. I don't know why my mind associates like press on nails with like not being cute because they're so these claim to be reusable, but I'm telling you after two weeks, you will not want to reuse these. Super easy to apply. It comes with a nail file. It comes with the nail glue. Each case of nails is 14 bucks. It lasts me a week and a half to two weeks. You know, sometimes if a nail pops off, I'll just to make them last a little bit longer. I've only had one nail fall off in person, which was very awkward. You know, that's the only downside is if a nail pops off and you're around people, you're like, um, excuse me, let me just go pick up my nail off the floor. It's very awkward and uncomfortable, that, but that's only happened one time. This DOE is what I have on my nails right now. It's like this beautiful, beautiful holographic. And I was so hesitant. I even did a poll on my Instagram. I'm like, should I put these on? Cause I'm very nervous about it. And then I put them on and they ended up being my favorite nails that I've worn from Static Nails. But I will say the holographic design scratches off so quickly. Within a week, my nails have just become this like purple color. But the first week I had them on, stunning. I loved them. Be careful if you're gonna buy the ones with the designs on them. Even the ombre design will just come right off. So be careful if you're doing the designs and you want them to last a solid two weeks. Maybe stick with just the solid colors. They got all different shapes, sizes. My favorite shape is probably, um, 
just the oval. The oval is short and I really like short nails. You guys know I like stopped wearing my long crazy acrylics like two years ago now. So I really enjoy short nails. So the round is perfect. I don't have to shape them at all. I just pop them on, they're good to go. This little guy, this is the coffin. These suckers are way too freaking long. Okay, so when I put these on, I have to cut them and then file the edges a little bit. And then I really love the shape and the length of them. So I love these. I really, my nail salon opened back up on May 1st and I have not gone back. A, cause I don't know, like I get dip and when they're dipping your finger in all the powder, I'm like how many people's fingers have dipped in there? It kind of grosses me out. But also I'm saving so much time. I don't have the patience to get my nails done every other week, okay? And with dip, I was going every two to three weeks. I don't have the patience to sit there for an hour. I can't do it. So even buying two sets of these is cheaper than me going at my nails filled once a month. I'm just saying, I love them. I think I'm gonna stick with them for a while. Not forever, I'm sure after a while I'll end up just going back and getting my dip nails, you know? But for the time being, Okay, this, I have so many random things, so I don't know where to go. Let's go to home decor. So in all of my Insta photos of home decor, there's palm pass grass, palm pass, palm pass, palm pass, grass, in all of these photos. And I'm like, where the heck and Bob did you get this beautiful dried grass from, okay? Couldn't find it anywhere. Crate and Barrel, all of like the big chain stores like Crate and Barrel, they sell a variation of it, but I never found it to be looked a little too artificial you know so recently I was introduced to an Etsy shop and all they sell is just this grass and I bought one bunch of it it cost me an arm and a leg it is gonna be the most expensive grass you've ever purchased but it's the best on the market I can promise you that okay so I have taken one bunch that I bought and I have spread it across my entire house so this is the pompas. I think it's pompas so this is my pompous grass, okay? Once again, the most expensive grass you will ever purchase, worth every single cent. This is just who I am now. I feel like after so many years of trying different things, I finally figured out what I love in my home and what brings me the most joy. My home is like my safe spot. I love my house. I am such a homebody and I love my, you know, like areas to just feel like me. And this is me and a cup of tea. So they're like massive, massive bunches, okay? You gotta like take them outside, put them in the sun, they'll like blow up, you hairspray them so they don't flare, flick and shed everywhere. But then I also took pieces off of it and then put it all through little vases like this. So I have this in one, two, three, four, um, five vases and just so these are the ones that sit on my mantle. So look, I just took little pieces off of it and put it in a slant into this vase. And then I have one of these taller wood vases from Target and I made this one be like more straight up. So I love it. I found it on an Etsy shop. I will link it below. So I just want to say that this grass has brought me so much joy and without you, I'd be nothing. Thank you. All right, let's talk about some beauty products that I'm literally obsessed with. I have so many new beauty products that I am so obsessed with. I think I'm finally gonna do like a new full get ready with me. It's been so long. I think the last one I did was in February. So I think I wanna do a full brand spanking new get ready with me using all of my current favorite beauty products because they're all brand new and I'm so obsessed with them. I wear them every single day, whether I'm leaving my house or not. <sighs> kind of dramatic but you know what I'm saying I have finally after my heart has been shattered ripped out of my chest and thrown across a soccer field okay and then they come back up to me and they stomp on it I have finally found a new mascara to replace my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Boom, baby. Okay, well, listen. This is the primer that I talked about in my last favorites video. I use these in conjunction. So, just a heads up. This mascara, this is a limited edition packaging, okay? It's from Lancome. It is the best mascara I've ever worn. Let me show you my lashes. Um, I mean, come on. I mean, ignore, like, the zay on my head, but... It's fantastic. Not only does it hold the curl all freaking day, it does not flake. I have found that all of my mascaras want to flake on me lately. What the heck and Bob is up with that? So ever since I got this, I've been head over heels in love with this, okay? Best purchase I ever made. That's probably dramatic, but right now that's how I feel in this moment. I just had to get that off my chest. 
best purchase I've ever made. <laughs> because I don't wear falsies, I really like my lashes to be very black, full, and have a little bit more length to them. And this does it all. So I love it. This is my girl now. This is my number one, okay? Uh, let's talk about brows real quick. You guys know I cannot be bothered with brows. They bring me no joy. Doing my brows in the morning is the worst part of my morning. And I mean it, okay? For the last whoever the heck a mom knows, it feels like a lifetime. All I do is I take my Glossier Boy brow and I bring it through my brows, stick those suckers straight up, get that fluffy brow effect, move on with my day. But lately I've added one step, which is a lot for me. This is the Glossier, what the heck a mom are you? Brow Flick. Okay, so when this first released last year, I purchased it because I loved boy brows so much and I hated it. But I've used it more and more and more and more and I just keep trying it. I'm like, I'm gonna figure out what the hype is with this product. And I have finally figured it out. So it creates the most, the most gentle brow hair. Like it looks like little, look at that. So it looks like just little baby brow hairs. See that? And all I do is line the lower line of my brows to add a little bit more definition to them so it's not just like, here's a fluffy brow with no definition. So you gotta give it a real good, a real good shakeroo. Pop it in there, I'll just quickly draw a little line to give a little definition on the bottom of my brow. Maybe add a little bit of little hair-like strokes up through here and then that's it. Apply my boy brow, I'm done with the day. I don't know, I've really enjoyed the look of my brows with this and it also is still, it's still very quick, very easy. Now I get the hype, they sell this and a boy brow together in a little cluster that you can save a little cash money on. Oh, I love it, it took me forever but I love it. Oh my heckin' Bob, holy heck and bob. This is the best lip product I've ever used in my entire life. And I know that's dramatic. I'm kind of dramatic today though. What are you gonna do about it? So this is the Summer Fridays. What the heck and bob are you? This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and it is fantastic. When this first came out, I was hesitant to buy it because all the Sephora reviews were so negative. They were like one and two stars. They hated the packaging. I don't mind the packaging. You know, it's just like a little aluminum tube. This is the most hydrating, soft, buttery, beautiful, thick lip balm I've ever used. I purchased another one. I have one with me at all times, okay? If I'm leaving the house, it's with me. If I'm in my bathroom, it's with me. On my nightstand, it's with me. This is my girl. We are connected at the hip now, okay? can't go anywhere without this. It is so beautiful, it is not sticky at all. What I've been doing lately is just lining my lip with a very neutral color lip liner and then popping this right on top. So today I'm using a Pat McGrath lip liner that matches my lips pretty stinking well. And then pop this right on top, it just, mm, it's like so juicy without like the glossy like, you know, like you know like the glossy like feeling. It's not like that and it's so beautiful. It's so stinking beautiful. Can't get enough of her. She's wonderful, she outdid herself. We all know I'm a cream type of gal now. I never use powder bronzer anymore. I've really just, I'm a full blown convert to cream products now. I use like a little powder under my eyes, but that's besides the point. <laughs> So this is the Fenty Beauty New Cream Bronzer. This is in the color Macchiato. It's their 03 Macchiato. It has a very warm undertone, which I love for summer because I feel like it gives like that very bronzy effect. This is all I'm wearing on my face today with some blush, no highlight, nothing. I love this. This has brought me so much joy. I just stipple it in. It blends out like a dream. It is very sheer. So I do feel like I have to go in a few more times and build it up. It's wonderful. It is truly wonderful. It stays there. It doesn't slip and slide. It doesn't move on me. Truly wonderful. I find that this shade is perfect for me. Maybe even like a little bit dark for me, but what are you gonna do about it? Okay, Gymshark has just been boom, boom, boom. Hot fire release, hot fire release, hot fire release. And we just had another hot fire release. I feel like the ombre seamless was just such a beautiful, a beautiful moment in time for Gymshark. And we were all devastated when ombre left. So although this is a completely new ombre, this is the adapt ombre seamless. It's in the adapt seamless family. The ombre is back, baby. When I first got this out of the package, I was like, and then I put it on and I was like, whoa, I feel powerful. And nothing makes me feel more powerful, strong, unstoppable in the gym than when I have a freaking cute gym outfit on. This is one of the newest releases of Gymshark that I love, 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 can't get enough of. It doesn't have a matching sports bra, but it does have the matching long sleeve crop top. Looks like this. It has the cutest little scrunch in the back. These leggings, like, oh my God. They just... 
I wish I could find a flaw in that. <gasps> I have one flaw. It's not a flaw to me, but some people, some people are like very, um, this is like a huge deal breaker for them. They are not sweat proof. There's the one negative. <laughs> the fit is so beautiful. The waistband just, it has a little seam up the back. So it still gives your bum like those, that nice cheeky definition. Oh, I think the ombre fade in it is so stinking beautiful. It's less like boom in your face is the last ombre. So I find it to be a little bit more subtle and I love it, I love it. I'm so happy it's back. Let me tell you something. Popping this on with a white sports bra. Okay, it matches the little Gymshark logo and a white little tennis shoes. Ooh, you feel like a little cutie patootie. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's freaking hot as I said earlier, as a hot tamale. And in my gym, it's an extra hot. So I've been wearing a ton of shorts to the gym. This is not a new item to Gymshark, just new colors for summer. And I, I've never been happier. Looks like a little popsicle moment. What's up? A rocket pop moment? Yeah. So these are new colors of the high-rise bike shorts, cycling shorts. So we have this beautiful pop of red that came out with a little maroon Gymshark in the back. And then the blue is, I mean, you guys know I'm biased to blue, you know? I named my dogs after two shades of blue because blue is my favorite color. So I love this shade of blue and it almost goes more teal, which is where I, I really... And gray, light gray, it just, nothing will make your bum look better than light gray. So I love this light gray with the black gym shark in the back. The reason I love these shorts is because not only are they high rise, so they're gonna come right up to your belly button, but they're long enough that I just feel very comfortable in them in the gym. I struggle with short shorts in the gym. I don't feel as comfy. Hello, Miss Indy Lulu. You wanna say hi, Indy Lulu? Love you so much. You're so beautiful. You're always my favorite, okay? I love the cycling shorts because you can kind of like pull them up enough, like pull them up your butt, give that real good definition to your bum. But then um, <clears throat> they're still long enough where you don't feel like exposed. So if you're looking for shorts to wear this summer that are a little bit longer, these ones also all have matching sports bras and long sleeve crop tops. The only reason I don't love the flex sports bras is because they're very high cut. I don't have a lot going on here, so I gotta work with what I got. I like that low clean, you guys know. So they do have matching long sleeve crop tops with all of these. These are still drying, so they're like moist. They look so stinking cute in the back because all the backs of a match and they have this little hole. It's just so, ugh! Some clothing just makes you feel on another level. There's nothing better than just feeling so good in what you're in. You walk into that gym, you look at yourself in your mirror and you're like, use that girl today. And you look stinking cute, looking like a little rocket pop. You know? Anyways, that's the gym clothes I'm obsessed with. I wish I had more fitness favorites, but I just barely started going back to the gym again. So, you know, nothing here. I hate talking and promoting about knockoffs because knockoffs to me, and I could be completely wrong, but to me, a knockoff of an item just takes away from somebody's hard work that they put into an item. You know what I mean? Like somebody designed, put their whole heart and their soul into an item. And then somebody just was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it and knocks it off. Okay, so I do struggle with knockoffs, but when it's knockoffs of a designer bag, when it's like thousands of dollars, I don't want to say I support it. I'm just saying that I love this bag. <laughs> this is a bag that if you saw my Cabo lookbook, that's where this bag is from. So this is a knockoff of a bag. But this one is only $20 on Amazon. And I love it. I really didn't think I was gonna use it again after Cabo, and this has become my most used the handbag. Doesn't matter where the heck and bob I'm going. Target, the grocery store. Where else have I been going? To pick up my food. I have been choosing this bag over all of my other bags. It's 20 bucks. I'm not saying it's the best quality, okay? Like the zipper breaks every other day. But I'm so obsessed with this just little purse moment. Oh, that's so stinking cute. I love little baby purses right now that can just sit on your shoulder and it really just, oh, just so stinking cute. <laughs> and the original is so expensive. So listen, it is very different from the original. I will give it that, okay? I'm just saying the shape in general is very similar to the higher end brands, so. I think they have other colors on Amazon that I need to look and I might need to purchase more. I've never in my entire life seen myself with a white handbag. Okay, that's just never something I ever thought I would ever wear. <sighs> and here we are, Florencia, styled by Florencia. We did that whole lookbook in collaboration. She picked out this handbag and I loved it with every fiber of my heart and soul. Okay, thank you. I think it would be disrespectful to not put this in my favorites video because it truly is just so special to me. 
the love of my life besides Stefan and Navy and Indy. This is the Glow Like Whitney Simmons kit in collaboration with Tula. I picked four of my favorite products from Tula and I popped them in this beautiful, wonderful clear bag with the blue accents and a holographic. It's beautiful, baby. Be like. It's just too cute. So I wanted to mention this. Thank you so much to all of you that have supported this bag. Once it's gone, she's gone forever. So get it while you can, but I'll do a quick recap of what's in it. The best sunscreen to ever touch your face. Protect the skin you're in, especially this summer, okay? All year round, but you better be reapplying. Okay, this is the Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel, UVA Plus. This is a clean chemical sunscreen and it's fan freaking tastic. Thank you. This is my um, Holy Grail face wash. You get the full size of my favorite face wash ever. The Super Calm Gentle Milk Cleanser. You also get a spot treatment for all your dark spots and your zits like we all saw earlier. Okay. This is the Go Away Acne Spot Treatment. And then last but certainly not least, Okay, this is the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. So you get four full-size products all in this one kit. You can still use my coupon code. Save that cash money. And that's that. Oh, babe, I almost freaking forgot this wonderful, beautiful sign. I was kind of sitting right in front of it the whole time. I'm gonna do this without you seeing my pajamas, okay? Okay, so one day I'm just hanging out, doing some work, and I get a wonderful package in the mail, and it is this beautiful, wonderful sign from my amazing friend, Libby. If you don't follow Libby on Instagram and on YouTube, what you doing? So, my sweet friend Libby, you know when some people just come to your life and they just, they rock your world, and you just feel so connected to somebody? It's just weird how you go your whole life without somebody, and then they come into your life and you're like, so that's how I feel about Libby. And one day she just surprised me with this amazing gift. It is the most beautiful home decor piece ever. It says Stefan, Whitney, Navy, Indy, and some mountains. I don't know if you know this, but I'm obsessed with the mountains, okay? Every day I wake up and I just stare at the mountains. Every walk, I just stare at the mountains. The mountains bring me so much joy, peace, tranquility. I don't wanna go to the mountains. I just wanna look at the mountains you know so a massive thank you to libby i will also leave the girl that makes these i know she just started her business so if you're looking to have one made of your family and your pups maybe your kitties i will leave her information down below i haven't found a place for it she's just, just kind of been sitting on my fireplace and i don't know like maybe the fireplace is her spot you know what i'm saying so stinking cute so thoughtful i just love good people all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's favorites video. Please don't forget to leave your favorite organization, foundation down below that you want the AdSense of this video to go to. I love you guys so much. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I love you. And until next time, I will see you next time.